Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Palatro, where I think at the end of the last episode I said we were going to do more challenge modes, but to be perfectly honest with you, I kind of want to just play with the anaglyph deck some more. I think there's some fun things you can do with the double tags, and I do want to move on from this stake. If we if we can't get a good run going in, in the first, like, I don't know, half hour or something, maybe we'll, we'll jump over to, to a challenge mode instead. Uh, so... Here's what I'm thinking, strategy-wise. Like, it's become pretty clear that we need to get a functional Joker. We need to get a Joker that's actually improving our chip score probably by the end of this round. Like, by, by the time we're in Anti-2, we need to be we need to be boosted. And preferably, we're talking about just, like, some flat malt, right? The most effective way to improve your score is to improve whichever one of these numbers is lower, and right now it's pretty much always going to be malt. So, um, so it behooves us to do whatever helps with that the most. Ordinarily, I'd say seeing shops is important, but you're not going to be able to buy anything terribly meaningful. Like you could buy a, like a crummy common joker that just has four malt on it or whatever here. Uh, but I think we're going to skip this blind so that we can actually pick up anything that's in the big blind shop. The, the monetary value of this tag is for sure greater than the amount of money we would have earned playing the small blind uh and i guess let's pursue the flush flush is pretty close there you go it's a reasonably high one too we should be able to get out of here in two hands all right all we gotta do is find 150. a pair is certainly not going to get us there though do i want to try do we still have all the fours in the deck we have three fours I don't really love pursuing the the straight here. I'm trying to draw one of three cards in my in my thirty five card deck, but I don't know. I mean, we got like three hearts in hand. This, this hand is just kind of nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this garbage at all, frankly. Let's um. Discard these, I'm kind of looking for, like for the straight or for the spade flush or something. Uh, it turns out we did not find something. I'm gonna play a pair with all of the, there are nine spades left. Nope, you know what? We're just gonna take a crappy high card and try to hit that spade flush to get out. And fail to, cool. Well, like the value of a pair is is essentially nothing, right? Let's go get a six. Yeah, like we do this, and we're still we are still a full hand away from um, a full hand away from getting out of the round, and we have a worse shot at that hand than we did before. Okay, this this will get us home. That really sucked. Um, I feel I feel like you you feel the minus one discard way more than any of the um, difficulty modifiers up to this point. So yeah, we'll take a square joker. That's not good, but whatever. Um, I will buy this just to sell it back for a dollar. Uh, I think we just take, we take a free joker here. Okay. Foil lusty joker is definitely interesting. And is there anything cool in this pack? Yeah, there's some cool stuff in this pack. Um, I think we will take a purple sealed steel six. That's all right. Okay, this I have a lot more a lot more hope with. But the thing is, like through the early part of the run, you really want malt, and then once your malt starts building up, and you have, um, especially once you have like two sources of multiplier multiplier, then chips start to get more valuable, and then something like square square joker is a better. Um, style of improvement, but you don't want to start by thinking about that. Uh, so the diamond flush is the thing to pursue here. It is a shame that Lusty Joker, we have Lusty Joker with the hearts debuffed, but at least it has the 50 chips on it no matter what. That's nearly a straight flush there. 
Okay, and then we can, at this point, we can just play anything. Would this pair do it? <laughs> 14 plus, uh, yeah, so it'd be 64, 80 times two. Yeah, this is, this is sufficient. So let's do this and play two more cards into it. May as well, right? All right, so there's our double tag and no jokers in the shop. Pretty fun. I think we're going to be okay. I think I think the, the two that we pulled here are sufficient to keep us moving. Um, I do think we want director's cut, but we probably want to wait a little bit before we buy it. I don't think we want to skip for this. We have enough money that we're going to get some cash off of interest fighting this blind. And this just isn't an interesting enough way to spend our double tag. Uh, to me plus we're still looking for the shop obviously getting the thing we're looking to do in the shop is get more jokers but i would like to have more control any two jokers is pretty it's a pretty poor deal in my opinion uh you know we do have a four five six seven so like if i'm if i'm digging for spades we're looking for one of nine cards that's still gonna be better than than the straight even if we can high low it But what would be really slick is if I could get some, yeah, if I could draw some hearts. There we go. Hmm. Three queens left. There's nine hearts in the deck. I mean, this this hand again is it's a little it's a little awkward. There are a lot of holes in it, and we have no discards. If I play the two pair, where am I ending? 40, 56, times six. It actually ends up being 126 times six. Yeah, that's good enough. At this level, it's amazing what just even plus four malt will do for you. No jokers in the shop. That's really rough. Um, I don't, I don't really want a hierophant. And as much as like tarot cards are great, I we I do think we have to focus our money toward like Joker type goals for the moment. Uh, I'm confident we can beat the needle, but I'd be more confident if we got like one or two more meaningful Jokers. That's pretty strong. Well, there you go. That was a thousand right there. Trying to give their square joker a chance to climb a little bit. Uh, at this point, something like this will be. We'll be fine. Okay, even Steven is not great, but it is value. Yeah, I'll, I'll take an even Steven. That'll help. And then, like. The voucher is going to disappear if we don't buy it now. And we don't need it right this second, but it's really nice to have for like when your build has a silver bullet and then the game offers up the silver bullet. You, you need to have a way out. Okay, so let's try to grit. Let's try to get like a straight or something here. A straight with some hearts in it would be uh, would be preferable, but I see what is on offer and we will we will have to play to that. So a nine obviously would be good. A king would be great. Huh. You know what else is good is three sixes. So if we if we were to play this flush, we're getting we're getting um, plus four malt three times. This has got to be sufficient. As much as I would love to obviously like discard the six, I'd be so worried. I'd be so worried about discarding the six and not getting another diamond. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just do it. Alright, we're stacking up those double tags. Yo! 
Okay, this shop has some interesting stuff in it. So DNA is um, DNA is mighty powerful sometimes. Trading card is mighty powerful sometimes. Neither of them actually help your score, but that doesn't matter so much if you go back in time a hand. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe this is overkill. Maybe I am resetting the run a little too much. Uh, if I doubled our money three times, we would go to four, then to eight, then to 16. That's not so great. I'm definitely like looking at this pillar here and thinking that we don't want to do a ton of playing, but I do want to get some benefit from my stuff. Maybe we just play them both and, and live with the pillar nonsense. This would be so good if we had any money left at all. Oh yeah, we're gonna play. All right, so. Right now, what I'm thinking plan-wise is we try to copy that six of diamonds as many times as possible. But like, what if we're just, what if we're just playing sixes? What if the whole thing we do from now on is just play sixes? Is that a strategy? Is that a real thing? I don't know, probably not. All right, let's trash some shit. Let's use my other discard first. So we're pretty close to... We're pretty close to that, that spade flush. Wow, we actually got the six. Okay, well then I think we have to play it. And then... Uh, we can't discard it anymore, obviously. You just do the two pair. Because you know, if your whole if your whole deck is steel cards with seals on them, like it definitely gives you some interesting options. I know we're trying to rebuild our cash, but it's just it's so hard for me to ever pass up a spectral pack. So. Converts all cards in here into a single random rank is such a powerful thing. I'd be a little bit worried that this would destroy the six. All right, we're going to do this. I. Okay, maybe it's queens now. Maybe, maybe what we care about is queens. I'm more likely to believe that that's a better play. Like, in any case, we probably don't need a two of clubs. I think that's that's quite clear. And then let's discard the cards that aren't queens because there are 10 more queens in the deck and we could definitely make a hand happen here. This is gonna make even Steven a lot less interesting. This is a remarkably bad draw. This is, it's shocking how bad this is. I'm gonna play a queen. Yeah, this is absolutely brutal. Um, I will play all of the non-heart cards in this hand, and we'll see what happens. What happens is we don't make the flush. And in fact, there's no way to get more than one of these cards scored. Cool. Well, that's a heartbreaking way to lose. All right. The run got a little, it got a little squirrely there, I, I will admit. Things got a little weird. Um, I, t do we skip for four bucks? It is more money than we will make. Yeah, I guess we skip for four bucks. I don't think I want to skip an early shop for the double tag. A double tag can be powerful, but also it can, it can take some time to come to fruition. And like I'd say, and I think we need a source of mult before we're out of the first round, ideally. So let's, let's endeavor to find that. It doesn't have to be mult. Chips chips are good enough, provided you get enough of them. But I sure would feel more comfortable with some mult. No joker, obviously. Um, 
All right, we can we can beat we can beat the round one boss without improvements. I sure wish it wasn't like three of one suit, three of another. All right, well, the clubs are a little bit better. This is pretty rough. This thing where there's like holes on both sides of the jack. So we don't have a meaningful approach to a straight anywhere here. We're, oh, what am I talking about? We have the flush. I'm looking at this and reading it as four cards. In the end, it's a pretty mid-sized flush. It probably is not gonna get us out of here in two hands. Um. There are only six diamonds left in the deck. We've already burned a bunch of diamonds, so I don't feel super great about hunting for that flush. We do have like ace three, four, six, which is kind of something. It kind of hints in the direction of something. <clears throat> Okay, well, it turns out we got nothing. And now we're looking for that diamond flush anyway. There was no escaping it. It, it was our destiny. Uh, do we keep looking? There are four cards in 26. Because the thing is, like, the two pair is abysmal, right? The two pair is not going to get us anything. But I don't think the flush is coming. So we're just like looking for any other out and not finding it. Okay, well. <clears> hmm, <throat> let's try that again. Now see, a holographic tag. I will skip for a holographic tag. A joker with a holographic tag, it doesn't even matter what it is, is going to be good enough to get us where we're going. Uh, starting with three of a kind is a little tricky, like... Show me a club or a double for any of these. Okay. Decent start. And then a nice high two pair is all we got, so it's what we play. And then some other, yeah, whatever. Frustrating to have to go to three hands there. Uh, of course it's eternal. Of course it's eternal. Ah. Uh, it ain't that bad. I mean, like, it's bad. It, it, like, getting stuck with something like this eternal probably tells us that the run's not, not going to go anywhere on endless. But it's not going to hold us back from being able to hit um, anti-eight, probably. So, ten molt on everything, extra bonus on three of a kinds. The, the ten molt on everything is going gonna, is gonna to carry us quite easily uh, some distance. So... No, because we need the queen and the ten here. I think we're, we're better off focusing on the seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to actually toss all of these. Okay, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. There you go, that's something. I am still bummed out about this, though, to be clear. Am I too fast to grab the, the hieroglyph? Maybe. Here, you know what? Let's build up our, um... Let's build up our cash supply a little bit more first. We can buy it once we have a little bit of interest established. Um... 9764, I think we're probably just best looking for the flush. I can't believe we failed to one hand that. That's very embarrassing. Ooh, 
Do I want a buffoon pack? Do I want to ruin the momentum for jokers? We're not going to need it. I'm just going to... We're making bank right now. What we're doing is producing bank. Okay, no additional diamonds, but it did get us to a straight. That'll work. I'm really bummed out about that first round. I think that had a huge amount of potential. Okay, the needle. Can I make 300? I, I reckon so. I think there's a possibility. <laughs> Uh, so let's go for the spades, I guess. Do I want to hold the... I, I might hold a queen. This is like spades or nines. Gets us to, to someplace pretty good. Okay. Flashcard can be very powerful, but only really once your economy is online. Right now, I feel like we just don't know. I might skip it. Because again, like it cuts into our momentum. We're just we're just getting our economy online. Ooh, I think we're gonna skip the big blind here. Because we'll get to we'll get to rip three mega buffoon packs and kind of like figure out where we want to live from in there. Yeah, I don't know that I want to skip that because like there are a lot of jokers where you could get them. The polychrome doesn't really help that much this early in the run. And if the joker itself isn't doing anything of value, I don't know. It's a little bit early to be worried about multi malt. Do I want to focus on the diamonds or do I want to focus on the six, seven, eight? I guess I can kind of do both. Well, if I keep the four, yeah, maybe I want to do this. If we pull the five, it's good. If we pull the nine, it's good. I had some room to develop and it didn't really develop. Um, Do we go back in again? I'm going to go back in again. Okay, we are not... We are being punished. The gods are communicating that they are angry. I am not listening. You just got to listen. You got to let the ire of the gods roll off your back. What are you going to do about it? All right, we are almost in a good spot monetarily. I still don't know what the blank does. <laughs> I see people buy it. But I have never known what it is for. You know what? Um, can we pull up the thing? Collection. Uh, vouchers. Nope. Vouchers. Okay, so we have unlocked but not ever bought the clearance, the upgraded clearance sale. We've unlocked and not ever bought the reroll surplus. Does blank? Does blank? Okay, blank does upgrade into a thing, but it hasn't unlocked yet. We have to redeem blank three more times in order for it to be unlocked. Everything else we have. Oh, not everything. Hand size down to five cards. Buy a total of twenty playing cards in the shop. Zero. Have I bought zero playing cards from the shop? I guess I don't value magic trick very highly, and then the ones in the shop often don't have improvements, right? What would this even be? Maybe this is playing cards bought from the shop can have um, enhancements and seals on them or something. Okay, well. So that's incentive to buy the blank, but also... We know it's not going to benefit this run unless the blank itself does do something, does nothing with a question mark. 
makes me suspicious. I'm going to skip it. All right. Let's rip some packs here. Show me something interesting. Trading cards, interesting. Um, Runner, obviously, it doesn't play super well with Wily Joker, but it is very good. Yeah. There's a chance we will not be holding on to it at the end of this process here. This hand is a lot less, this, this set of Jokers is a lot less compelling. Um, I kind of don't want any of these, but we, we should take, we should take two. Um, Astronomer, which gets sold eventually, and like Sly Joker, I guess, is the one that's most likely to do something. Okay, and here we have, here we have some stuff that's a little bit better. So like Sly Joker out for Erosion, which is going to become active with the trading card very quickly. I do like... Supernova better than Astronomer, even if Supernova is maybe not always the most awesome. Yeah, okay. Cards drawn face down after each hand played is rough because we only have two discards. No, that's really, really rough. Cool. I'm so glad we drew a short suited three. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> um, it's plus four malt on the erosion, though. So this hand is nothing, and if we discard, we may end up with, we may end up in a place where we can't generate a meaningful hand ever again. So the question is just, are you actually going to take the pair? Is that the play? It doesn't feel like a very good play. All right, let's go hunting. Okay, this is fairly high value. This is a good way to start. High enough. And we have a real economy, and yeah, I'm like, I feel better-ish. This set of Jokers is still pretty uh, pretty weird, but better-ish for sure. Um, we haven't made any, any modifications yet. Uh, sorry, we dropped a three. And the card we dropped is a club, which is <laughs> makes this a little bit awkward. Uh, I don't know, a face card that's more likely to be able to participate in a straight. Okay. Uh, if we're going to soul, Supernova is probably the thing I'm like least excited about. It's plus, it's plus four molt on fl flushes and straights right now. Oh man, maybe it's good. It's definitely not erosion. Maybe it's runner. Because <laughs> we already have this card in our hand that's pulling us toward the direction of playing multiples. I'm going to drop the runner. Let's see what it is. Perkyo creates a negative copy of a random... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which means we need to get a decent negative, a, a decent consumable in our hand. It feels to me like copying Neptunes forever is a little presumptuous. <laughs> Pluto's is really bad though. Um, okay, who's ready to set the who's ready to turn our whole deck to spades? And I think we're just playing for a little bit here. Uh, so first things first, discard low weak cards secondly let's let's generate some flushes yeah. 
So the value the value increases and then supernova hits the malt. That's really that's a nice way for that to work. Uh, yeah, we, that's right. I don't, I, I don't want to use my other world. We want to let the world sit. I mean, we don't necessarily need to let it. Like, if we if we acquire a better tarot card, I will gladly uh, do the Perkyo thing with that instead. Looks like it's maybe not happening here, though. I mean, whatever. We can we can live with this for a little while longer. So we're probably, it's going to be difficult to justify skipping blinds. We're going to have to find something that's really good to double from this point forward. This one, this one we had seen before, right? Yeah, this is one of the ones we had seen before. Okay. It's a little bit of a shame. I guess I should be working harder to, to hit flushes, right? Because we want to make sure we're improving the value of Supernova. It's a little scary to go for it, though, and we don't have... Like, we only have the one hand left. Yeah, because, like, what if we whiff and we generate a kind of a nothing situation? Um, but I think we're probably okay here. Right, so this is going to be 50, 66. Uh, times 12. Times 24. Times 26. Yeah, we're only trying to get eight, we're only trying to get like 700 points here. I just feel really bad every time I play one of those hands where like you know, the 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 game like roughly divides the the hands into three sort of classes for you based on the planet scaling, right? There's the hands where the planet scales the multiplier up by one, which is just like, these are not to be taken seriously. There's the times two scaling hands where like, these are, these are good mid game. These are good like, mid level hands. They'll beat early blinds and stuff. And then there's the times three scaling hands where it's like, this is what you're building toward. These are the ones you actually care about. All right. What do we have here? Turn something into a glass card? I mean, I guess. Doesn't hurt. Wheel of Fortune's not very exciting. Moon's not very exciting. I don't... I don't know that I really want to mess with the High Priestess right now. I guess we're playing Wheel of Fortune, honestly. Hey, it didn't do anything. What a surprise. Uh, and I can afford a reroll. All right. Searching hard for the more relevant, uh, the more relevant tarot card. It is in theory out there somewhere. Okay, so we got one flush straight off the top here. Nice and easy. That was not that much money. Or it's not that many chips, rather. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend our extra world. I guess I should be spending this one. What am I doing? Foolishness. That's what I'm doing. From here, we should be able to get there with just about anything. This feels pretty all right. Might break a four. Ah. It did not shatter, sadly. 
Okay, so we are definitely looking for some improvements. Don't think I like either of these over anything we're currently doing. And I mean, like, Erosion and Supernova are both scaling. But we need a little bit more. The Eternal Hiker is fun, but... It might be a little bit too late in the run for me to feel comfortable taking this. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's just money. No, I don't think we're spending our double our, uh, our our double tags around here anywhere. Uh, I guess I would rather discard just like anything that isn't a spade. And we do need to get something in place for the, you know, all your spades are debuffed blind, which I just have a feeling the game will put in our way. I sense it in our not too distant future. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty harrowing to run. This is still requiring a lot of luck and our luck just ran all the fucking way out. We're about to try to score a pair I mean, that's not going to work. All right, we're going to have to spend the other, the other thing and make the flush happen. That said, this deck should be pretty capable of running a lot of flushes on its own. I could fool. I guess I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> the, the project is not yet complete. Plus 80 chips if the card contains a if the hand contains a flush is definitely interesting. Um We're definitely not done reshaping our hand yet. Or reshaping our deck yet. I think we're gonna Yeah, just do this. Well, we can get a flush that contains the three of a kind. That's exciting. Sure. So right now a flush is times 16 actually, but this will be times 15 when we play it and the higher base chip value obviously is, val is important. We want to be getting in two flush houses and flush flush fives and, and whatnot. Uh, and opening packs and trying to consider like when is it right to burn the supernova? That's not a very compelling pack, sadly. Hmm. Now see the family. <laughs> Yeah, we want to be transitioning toward flush fives. This is... <sighs> the times when we hit like a flush house or whatever, obviously it's not providing a lot of value. On normal flushes, <laughs> it is 12 malt or more. And we're just barely getting there, even with it. So it is a little scary to get rid of it. Obviously, Erosion is going nowhere. Wily Joker is going nowhere because I can't do anything about it. We really need something that's going to help us... Um, help us get some more copies of particular cards or something. Particular values, I mean... All right, perhaps inadvisable.
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes we play a straight. I'd probably take a, uh, if we found a Jupiter in the shop to just get copied over and over again by Perkyo, I think that would be pretty good. The world is certainly running out of, uh, out of utility. All right, this Joker is gonna hold on for a second. We're gonna play a flush, trying to maintain the possibility of the, you know, the flush that contains three of a kind or whatever. Found another six, of course we did. I'm still not ready to discard, I think. If we want to hold on to our pair of queens, we're going to play one of our worlds here. Still a lot of jacks, still a lot of kings. We could draw the other six. It's not impossible. But I gotta drop a six either way. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Now we're spending discards. Don't really want to discard the king. <laughs> All right, tens, queens, and kings. There's an equal number of all of them. I guess discard the kings because, you know, there's a non-spade among them. All right, we made, the, we made the, the ten happen, and this probably is good enough. It was not, uh, it was not by very much. It was pretty close, actually. Yeah, don't think we're taking any of this stuff. Uh, seed money's fine, I guess. I'm debating going down a little bit further because we kind of we we do need to find a new consumable to run. I just I wish we weren't getting so many fucking standard packs. Like we're really taking a crazy beating on the standard packs. All right, 18,000. Well. What would be really great is if we get a straight flush. It's not as good as the flush house, obviously, but it's pretty significant. Do I want to try to discard? Well, there's no way to discard around it, right? We'd be eating up too much of it. So at this point, our full deck has 11 non-spade cards in it. I really am like, I'm very eager to move to some other kind of consumable. <laughs> yeah, we can't really work around the straight flush. All we can really do is try to try to get back to three of a kind full house sort of situation. There's a seven, eight, nine, ten. Unfortunately, like we could go for this thing, we go so we have five sixes and three jacks left. We can't do both.
we're certainly much more likely to draw into the straight flush than we are to draw into the other thing. So I guess let's let that be our guiding star. Okay, well, there's a there's a flush house. Just kind of fell out of the sky onto our heads. This is a scary time of transition for our deck. Um so Use death here. So use death. Then use the fool to create a death in hand. I guess I could I should have thrown this world card down. Wow. Consumables with the negative tag have quite a sell value. Alright, now we're copying death cards. That's gonna make it much easier for us to create the situation we're looking for, right? Keep doing this because we're carving for we're carving for erosion that's very important and then it's like hold the tens discard a bunch of other stuff just see if we can get a natural pair in here oh or maybe we can just pull the flush house without even having to try all right well i'm gonna death this Try to create a bunch of a bunch of spade face cards and we'll see what happens. Wow. You can see me there doing the calculus, thinking about like using the other death card to just to just force a flush five. So you're 36 malt. At what point do we do we have to throw away the trading card for something that's actually producing multiplier is the question. I think we're probably, you know, we're probably coming to it pretty soon. Oh. Uh, Wouldn't it be sick if a bunch of cards in our deck were steel? I mean, as much as I like $20, It might seem a little weird to make it a king at first because don't we want to be playing our kings? They just copy the king and whatnot. But the idea is eventually you want to have like, you want to just make so many copies of this card. You'll be playing some steel kings while still holding some steel kings. I think this is where you want to get to be. We'll see. Is that realistic? Am I being silly? Maybe. I don't know. Sure, it's maybe a little bit late for that, but. Decreased level of played poker hand. Well, it's all, it's not gonna be relevant if we're hitting our, our nice high ones here. All right, you get traded. So how do I wanna manage this is the question. I guess let's death a three up to a 10. I'll just do one of these to start. Yeah, and then we got a discard that we, we have the ability to throw out here. So queen is most likely to find us another duplicate. That was pretty bad. If I'm honest, I, I think that was that was real awful. That said, we can play a we can play a hand that doesn't work and still make it. The question is, what do I mean by play a hand that doesn't work? Cause like 
We made 18,000 off that first hand. We could just do nothing here, essentially, right? Play high card, drop the diamonds. I don't really want to death one of the diamonds in the situation we're in, because, like, obviously I want to keep generating more death. So maybe that's the thing. Maybe it is, like... It's like a really unimpressive high card. Putting a lot of faith in this last hand. And it seems like, you know, acceptably. So, that's times 14. Ending up on 24, 64. This is times 7. Ending up on 17, 57, 200 something. Yeah, we're better, we're better off playing the four of a kind when we have it. Hoping to get, hoping to get to that, that elusive, that beautiful flush five land. Uh, voucher seems like an obvious purchase. I do love a good voucher. Uh, yeah. The thing about taking an emperor in this situation is that it's gonna put two more cards into my my area up here. And then we're probably not going to be able to spend either of the other two. And so we don't know what Perkia will produce this turn. So for that reason, I'm gonna take, I think Temperance over anything else here. You know, I don't hate that. We are likely to still flush house from time to time. <laughs> Obviously not a good skip. Uh, we are still burning stuff. Things are still going in the compactor. And unfortunately, I think we're in a position here where we have to spend our other discard right away. All right, well, it's hard for me to imagine this is wrong. Foil Supernova. Supernova is back. Crawling on hands and knees. Like, look. Look how much I've improved myself. Alright, well that's a real kick in the kick in the teeth there. I shouldn't say that. That's not a kick in the teeth. That's like the most mild disappointment possible. It doesn't harm us in any way. It just doesn't actively benefit us. I should buy a fool, right? Yeah. Don't use it yet. But yeah, if, if the fool had gotten copied, it would have been absolutely fine, I think. All right, we are still shaping. We are still shaping. Obviously, this card is not allowed to be in my deck. We're going to have to pick like a couple of values to try to condense down to. Full deck is like, yeah, I think like tens and queens is what we're, what we're looking at really here. Do I want to play this for the flush? Not really. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Death this. 
Then we're going to use the fool to create a death. Then we're going to death this into also a five, into also a 10. I mean, maybe I should have gone to Queens. I'm a little, if you can't tell, I'm a little leery of the like face cards. Cause like there's a debuff face cards and there's a draw your face cards face down uh, boss blind. And they're just, the, it feels like they're a little easier to fuck with than the 10s are. And the 10s have the same amount of chips on them. And then this lets us land our first flush five to get flush five into the open, which is where we want to be living. Okay, levels for the flush five immediately. Game making me feel like I'm doing something right here. I think we want to keep running the trading card, honestly. We're going to open this mostly looking for negatives. You know, these are not... These are not compelling. Sure. Okay. Uncommon jokers give... Yeah, the, the baseball card wouldn't even be that good here. No repeat hand types. Well, I guess we better get it right with the first flush five then. <laughs> that said, I'm a little worried about this open. We did not, we did not in fact draw. Oh, that's right. Maybe copying, the... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So we could just throw down like a flush. We can't repeat hand types anyway. This could be a play instead of a discard. I think I'm okay with that. It'll give us a little something. Wow, that's a lot littler of a something than I was expecting, if I am honest. Um, so we can just drop a flush house here. Or... There are five tens left. What I should really do is like this, right? We can force the flush five, but I'd really rather draw one of the existing tens and then death something else. And it'd be cool if we could hold on to the Steel King. Ooh. Uh, having drawn an offsuit ten is actually very bad. I think we end up. Because if I make it a queen, we can flush house. And the flush house has the highest actual value. But it doesn't get us the f times four. It's not going to do... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be good enough, actually. The, the straight four of a kind might be, though. So this is going to be a hundred... 200, so straight 200 chips, times 7, 17, 69, uh, and then that times 4 is, what, uh, brain, 270, 276, so, oh wait, did I do that math right? So if I did that math right, that seems like not a very high number. Feels like I'm missing something in there. Well, the four of a kind is not, it doesn't have to be the last hand. Hold on. I want to play this because... No, okay. Yeah, I missed a little something in that math. Okay, so now we could run like a pair or whatever. <laughs> now we're all good. I guess, I guess a flush is the sensible thing to... Oh, sorry. No repeat hand types. Two pair, two pair will be sufficient. This is 25. This is not going to be, it's not going to be strong enough, fast enough, right? 
Uh, tarot cards appearing more often in the shop is cool, I guess. I don't know that it's all that meaningful at this point in the run. Probably not even worth spending the money. Ooh. That's pretty fun. I don't think I want to drop the erosion. Like, is it time to drop trading card? There are only four cards in my deck that aren't spades. And while obviously trading card is helping us helping us trim toward the values we need, so is death. It says we're run we're anti seven. Like we just beat anti seven, so like the run's basically over. Yeah, this might be a good time to good time to commit in here. All spade cards are debuffed. Well, I'll tell you. Don't much care for that. I guess we're gonna skip the boss. <laughs> we're gonna reroll the boss blind six times, which it does not feel like is the way these double tags are supposed to be used. Okay, face cards are drawn face down. Pretty scary stuff. Uh, let's continue crafting. So I think we're kind of out of time on, like, fucking with this four. Let's just go ahead and, and death the four. Well, where am I? Just, I'm probably just discarding it, right? Yeah, one thing that's going on here is we are no longer holding a discard for trading cards. We, we have a little bit more room to try to build the hand we're looking for. Do I want to just toss out the, the queens, too? We don't have quite as many fives as I would like. And at this point, like, a flush house does at least trigger the trio. Okay. This should be some pretty decent value right here. Three hundred forty K will work. That will get us to the place that we are going to. Uh, I mean, what the hell? Another steel cake. Why not? So I've talked a little trash about campfire in the past, how I don't think it seems very good. Um, and I think that holds true here. <laughs> I don't think I want this. Like, the thing you could do, right, you could... You could sell the Erosion. Or the Perkyo. Because I guess we're coming up to the last thing here. I could sell the ero I could sell the Perkyo. Grab. Campfire. Yeah, that's probably worth doing. It's got the 10 malt on it. It's also got the multi malt. And then we're just like buying and selling other things. I was a little bit expecting that um, it was going to be affected by the sale of Perkyo. So we're looking for like consumables to buy and sell, right? Which means we're not actually going to get to do all that much. But even at, even at X2. Yeah, and this has times 10 on it itself. Times 2, or plus 10, X2, X3, X4. Like, we're looking at pretty good outcomes, I think. Sure, wish I could sell the Wily Joker. <laughs> Alright. So. Let's start with this. We're just looking for that flush 5. There we go, friends. I do believe that that's our quarry. Put up a 764. It's fine. Okay, now the ante number increases before. Yeah, that was a normal ante, I, I guess. I, I guess I could have known that. Well, we can keep um, working on this. So, 
Except we can't when they just show us jokers. That's fine. The Mega Arcana pack might show us a way to generate some consumables. It did, although I think I'm more likely to just hold on to a death. And then also we like take the temperance probably. And at this point, any upgrades that we make to the campfire are gonna hold through the entire blind, right? Or the, the entire ante. So I guess I wanna move on and, and save a little income. This would be exciting ordinarily. Um, all cards debuffed until one joker sold. How much do we actually care about that? Like our cards aren't doing anything. We just, we won't get some chip value, but all of our actual score is coming from the malt of the multi malt. I don't think we, I don't think Verdant Leaf actually matters. We do have to make 180,000, which is not, you know, it's not nothing. It's not a single hand probably. So I'm debating now, like, do I want to skip blind, pick up, a, put a, put a negative joker in the last shop or do I want to play for two shops to pump campfire? It's probably the latter, right? The negative joker could be really cool, but there's no guarantee that it will be really cool. Wow, no tens, okay. Uh... Sorry, hold the queen. No, I'm just gonna go for it, actually. Let's just go all the way for it. Go all the way for it and don't find it. Okay. I think I wanna play like one, like a little timid, like get rid of some cards hand here. We got two hands left. Seven of 18 remaining cards are tens. I'm gonna play the king too. I think it would be really, really fucking cool to draw a 10. There we go. And of course, when it rains, it pours. Here's a six of a kind. Am I still living in fear? Yes, of course I am. Have we met? Yeah. Uh, all right, nothing worth having here. I think we just go ahead and move right on to the next round. Because that was the small blind, right? Yes, okay. And we can go out in this shop. Starting with a single 10 is a little scary. I mean, we don't need the king. We know that we know that the tens will get us there. Also, I don't know what I was saying earlier. One hundred eighty thousand is absolutely a single hand. Okay. Buy and sell. And buy and sell. This is kind of what I was saying about. Um, oh, this is. This is fun, so buy this one. I should hit buy and use. And then sell and sell, look at that. Um, give me the $14 on this one. So if you have some money, if you have a little bit of economy, and obviously um, this is better if you have more economy or if you have, uh, what do you call it? Um, if you have cheaper rerolls or something like that. You can pump this up and get it like to, you know, four in our case or with with some actual resources 
a, a much higher, more impressive value. I, these planets are bad. Um, but it's like a whole, it's like you can put in a whole bunch of effort to make it almost as good as like constellation briefly <laughs> for a single meaningful battle. And then you got to put all the effort in again. And it's like, yeah, okay. Comparing it to constellation or, um, comparing it to constellation is a little rough. Cause like, that's obviously one of the best jokers in the game, but you, you get what I'm saying? Like it does. It's too much effort that you have to do over and over and over again. That said, it will be fine for our purposes, but honestly, this could be an empty slot and it also would be fine. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty sure the only thing that happens here is that we're missing out on 50 chips. Yeah, sufficient. Uh, and that is a new deck. Uh, we're not going to ride this into Endless. This isn't going to go anywhere that's particularly interesting, I don't think. Balance chips and malt when calculating score for played hand times two base blind size. Okay. Yeah, no, that's really powerful. I see why it would have to multiply <laughs> your, uh, your blinds. Because this is... This is a deck that do it automatically does the thing that's important to do, which is be focused on upgrading your lower number. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's a cool. That's a cool deck idea. Um, so there is one more stake here. Okay, scaling is even harder. So it's, that's just going to make all the things I was saying at the beginning of the episode even more true about needing to secure some some malt early on and stuff like that um and then obviously there is a there is another stake beyond this that it still means something to play on it but it doesn't mean deck unlocks anymore which is what i my primary concern so okay went on orange Oh, wait, this is purple. So actually, it'll be beating one of these ones that unlocks the final deck. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. Uh, but I think that right there is maybe a good time to call it. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. What is going on with OBS right now? Okay, it catches up eventually. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, probably we actually will be doing some challenge runs since apparently the next stake doesn't even unlock anything. So come back next time for that and we'll see you then.